Yeah, we all getting along today. You know, sometimes you wish when you do something great that somebody was around to see it or you had the camera running. And then sometimes when things go terribly wrong, you're glad nobody's around to see it and you're glad the camera didn't work. So that's the story of this little engine here. I don't know its identity, but I think it might be a Robert Fulton. It's got the same uh, piston assembly as a couple others I have that are Robert Fulton's. Don't know its age. I'm not very good at doing research. I just like playing with them. So I got this little engine and she wouldn't heat up. It's electric. It's got a ceramic element here over a real fine wire heating coil. Well, it's pretty simple. One of the wires was broke, so I just, and it, luckily it was at the end, so I just took a couple turns out of her and shortened her down. Got her put back together. Took her over to the old testing station there in the kitchen. Fired her up. She started getting up ahead of steam, and she had a lot of rust in it, in the boiler there. Got that all cleaned out. The heat element actually passes through a tube through the center of the boiler. Well, I got her heated up, and just about the time she was going to come alive, catastrophic failure. She blew a hole right through the side of the boiler there. Got in there, dried her all out, cleaned it up, soldered on it a little bit. Wasn't having a whole lot of luck getting the solder to stick to that old iron, but then I resorted to my old friend, J.B. Weld. So we very carefully packed her full of J.B. Weld, Got a stick in through the fill hole there, a piece of wire, and bent over to hold it on the back side and kind of smeared it around from the inside. And actually, well, I think once I put it all together, it's going to believe, be below the uh, cast iron base there, and I don't think you'll even be able really to see it. So we're going to put this thing back together and see if we can get her fired up. Pretty delicate little heating element there. This is one of them that was probably abused as a child. Left, left her standing full of water. Looked like she'd been dropped. Had a few other issues there. Well, heck, it ain't gonna fit in from the bottom. Imagine that. Try to put the dang thing together backwards. There we go, that's more like it. Let's see if the old girl will go back in there breaking again. Oh, look at that. I think my affection for steam engines started back in the day. We traveled with the carnival. Can you imagine that? That was how I spent my summers as a child. Traveling with, I think, I believe it was Kemp and Turpin United Shows out of Bethany. But we traveled around and a lot of times the old, uh, Carnival rolled around town just about the time they had to have an old Thrasher's reunion or something like that. And when the things weren't running there at the Carnival, I had plenty of time on my hands, so I would water, wander around and hang out with the old steam engines and the old operators, some pretty interesting characters. Don't remember a whole lot of what I learned from them, but I sure wish I did, because they were a wealth of knowledge. That's a dying breed nowadays. You go to those... Thrasher's reunions or steam engine shows, you know, they're getting smaller and smaller. The crowds are getting smaller and smaller, less people in. Less people interested in the simple things. Well, that looks pretty simple. Got her all back together, got stacked back on her. All right, all I got left to do is make me a gasket for that relief valve, and uh, we'll be ready to try this thing out again. Stay tuned. Thank y'all.